guys this is kind of my first drive besides yesterday driving it back in the Chevy Volt but just some things to notice here um, visibility is awesome directness of the throttle in drive mode or like normal mode or anything like that I mean this thing it takes off when you press the pedal down it really takes off which is pretty sweet um, we just left home, stopped at the bank. Alexa drove for a little bit here, and we burned off about nine miles of the range, but uh, it was in low mode, and we floored it in sport. So, of course, uh, that was bound to happen. But city driving in low mode is like one pedal driving. If you've ever experienced one pedal driving before uh, in, in an electric car, it basically it regens the the battery so the the engine itself is regenerating power from the driving characteristics of the car and in low mode it slows it down so you can really drive this vehicle in low mode uh, uh, pretty well you know you just have to feather the throttle and know how to modulate the throttle um, and then your passengers won't uh, experience any of this where they're like woo going back and forth <laughs> But this is pretty cool. I mean, my first first initial reactions are great. I don't feel, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of an ego adjustment driving a hybrid or a low power vehicle, especially for us when we've driven, you know, Alexa has a GLE 43 AMG and I have uh, a Ram truck with a Hemi V8 and of course the two SRT vehicles if you follow the channel. If not, no worries. So here we go, we're coming up to a stop in low mode, it's stopping. Now when you get to about three miles an hour, it coasts like a normal vehicle would. Now we're taking off, of course, from the stop. And this is just the basic model Volt, so it doesn't have any heated seats. The steering wheel is crap, if you want my true opinion. And the seats aren't great, they're cloth and they're really not that soft. But they get the job done the car is really nice for what we need it for this is uh kind of our like run around town type vehicle so what we need it for this is perfect and uh i did test drive a few other volts well one volt in particular that was loaded the only thing it didn't have was the adaptive cruise control but this did have uh that volt did have heated seats and uh leather seats. We're going to take this corner with some pace here. Whoop! <laughs> so as you can see, the Volt definitely has enough power to corner. <laughs> um, I would have to say it is fun to drive. I've driven a lot of electric golf carts before, and this is very similar to an electric golf cart. Electric vehicle, side-by-side -side golf cart, whatever. This is very similar to that. We're going over some really bad road right now and the Volt is actually insulated quite well. It's really no louder than any of our other vehicles we have, you know, with the exception of the Mercedes. That is a quieter vehicle going over bumps. But this is so compliant and so well made for the money that you pay for it. This Volt was $7,500 before the new tax credit of 30% off that price. So minus $2,400 off that price essentially, or a little bit less. So it's, it's, it's basically a $5,000 vehicle with 68,000 miles on it. Can't beat that. We are going to hit some corners here and throw it into sport mode up here just briefly. Now one thing I do want to say is that a lot of people complain about the interior of the bowl, but at the end of the day, what do you expect out of it? This isn't quite a luxury vehicle. I guess when GM was making this, they thought that you would just buy the uh, ELR from Cadillac, and then that would be your luxury, luxury vehicle. Now we're gonna do some spirited driving here. We're in sport mode in low and we're going to 
take these corners. I am telling you, okay, so there's a little bit of heft, but, oh, that's so much fun. When you take corners in, in an AMG or an SRT, you always hear the engine, you have to keep it in that specific gear. But with this vehicle, you could just take a corner and modulate the pedal, and that's how you drive the vehicle. This is so much fun. The center of gravity is so low in this vehicle, the only thing holding this back is the tires, the 215 width tires on this vehicle. If this had 245s or 255s, this would be unstoppable. And now we realize why people love electric cars so much is because of the, the fun factor of it. You know, you don't have to worry about holding gears. And for some of us, that's really fun to do. And if you're most fortunate to have an electric vehicle like this, or uh, you know, a Challenger V8, or whatever you have for your fun car, good, good for you, that's awesome. But as a secondary car, you can definitely get enough fun out of this. And the best part of it is, uh, when I drove at home two hours after driving, I, I, was, I felt pretty refreshed. So if you buy one of these vehicles loaded with, with all the options, you can feel quite refreshed because it's so quiet, you don't need the radio on, and you can just chillax. And uh, that's what I also appreciate about it. But this is, this is pretty cool. I've, I've got a smile on my face, and this is definitely the cheapest car I've ever bought in my whole life. I've bought, I think, 10 or 11 cars now. But uh, as Alexa laughs, this is definitely the most cool, cheap car I've ever bought in my life. This is sweet. I'm just having so much fun driving this. And I will eventually go into more detail with this, and I will do reviews on it. It's 68,000 miles right now. I'll do a review at 70,000 miles, but I figured I just kind of wanted my first drive impressions here uh, with the car. I just am looking around at the cabin, the utility of the vehicle. Everything is just very well made here. Um, you think this is a 2013 when Chevy just wasn't quite putting out great products yet. Or GM, I should say. But this Volt, it handles. <laughs> it's just instantaneous. This is a hidden gem, too, for the price right now. You could buy a loaded Volt with decent miles for it. $10,000 with under 100,000 miles and all the forums that I've read about these are some of the most reliable vehicles Chevy ever made uh, because of the, the, the development they put into this they had to get this project uh, right when they were starting this whole program so I never thought I'd be sitting in a Chevy and neither did Alexa I've always been uh, negative about GM products but this GM product here I do have to say I really like just really happy about this vehicle so at the end of the day a little first drive review Alexa is hackling at me over in the passenger seat right now so we're gonna wrap this up here I'm gonna have more volt content some of this seems a little repetitive but what can I say this is just an awesome car here so as I get into it a little bit more learn more about the details about the volt I'll uh, do some more some more uh, content, but all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care.